So let's begin. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? My name is Techidad and I'm here bringing you a new gadget. It's called the X-Sound Go by Trivet. It's a wireless Bluetooth speaker, uh, waterproof. We're going to do some testing. We're going to open it up, uh, check out some specs, and then get to the phone part. See if this is for you guys. Uh, if you guys are anything like me, or if you like music. Um, music is a very big part in my personal um, in everyday life. So even when I shower, I have to have music. When I'm working, I have to have music. When I'm doing anything, I have to have music. Especially when I'm driving, it's so soothing to drive. And if you are out there in, in a wet environment, this is for you. I got it off of Amazon for $22. Is originally 47 so i got it on a discount i'm not sponsored by them i'm not sponsored by amazon i'm not sponsored by anyone so i got this out of my own pocket i checked it out uh, i was looking i was looking for gadgets online and i ran into this so enough babbling and let's get to the video okay first things first let's see what's in the box all right I just cut this, I haven't taken out of the box yet. Welcome to the Trivet Super User. Let's see what this is all about. It's a Chinese brand, of course, but uh, let's see. So you get the speaker. This should come with the, you take this out. Uh, USB-C charging cable. And your instructions and paperwork and all that fun stuff. So now let's toss this to the side. Hold on, my OCD is gonna kick in if I don't put this right. So we have our USB-C. Let's check out the speaker. Hmm. First impressions right off the bat. Uh, doesn't feel heavy at all. We'll go over the specs right now, but this is just first impressions. Um, rubberish, this is the little rubber. It is rubber because it's waterproof, but uh, it scratch easily. Yeah, you could see you could see already that I can scratch it, but it, that's just aesthetics. Uh, this is where you has an auxiliary port, so you could actually hook this up. If you have a device that's not Bluetooth, you could connect that via auxiliary cable, and that's your charger port, USB-C charging port. It's pretty standard. This is very simple power that's the bluetooth that's to pair with any bluetooth enabled device you play button volume down volume up key that's pretty much it all in a nutshell so now we're going to go over the specs and it comes with this little black man here so you could put this in your backpack just make sure they i've seen people carry this kind of stuff on backpack backpacks if you're going uh, on a trip or if you're going hiking they'll be pretty good um, if you want to attract any wild animals, sure, why not? Put it on and attract everyone. So let's get to the specs and then to the fun stuff. Measure this thing. So my ruler is top notch. Yeah, roughly about seven inches, if you can see, kind of. Almost seven inches. And the height is about two and a quarter around there. And. The diameter of this thing so almost two inches so yeah almost right on so now you get a feel of what the uh, in imagination of what, what it looks like what it feels like um rubber well i don't know if you feel like it of course not but anyways the a little more specs it has two speakers each speaker has eight watts it's an eight watt speaker so a total of 16 watts on this little thing now the connectivity is Bluetooth, as I mentioned. It's 5.0, version 5.0, which is fairly new. It came out in 2016. So I know the newest version is 5.2. So you could actually connect this to anything that's Bluetooth. Your phone, tablet, 
Uh, I don't know about the car. I'll test it in my car to see if it'll connect, but that'll be interesting. But why would you want a speaker in your car, huh? But anyhow, uh, it'll connect to virtually any smart device. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now to charge it, the battery, it has a 4.7 volt battery. And it's a 4400 milliamp battery. So it's, uh, according to the manufacturer, it'll last, uh, it takes five hours to charge. But according to them, by Trivet, it will last you about 24 hours, depending on the volume and the type of music you're playing. For example, if you like music that has a lot of bass, of course it's going to swallow more of the battery. If you're playing mellow music and you have the volume fairly low, it'll give you a good 20, 20 to 21 hours. But uh, if you have loud music, uh, rock and roll, and blasting it, you keep messing with the buttons, you keep changing the songs, you keep going up and down, pausing, playing, of course you're gonna drain the battery faster. So it all depends on how you use it. Now, we're going to test it. We're, we're gonna submerge it up to, um, as a an IPX rating of IPX7. What does that mean? Well, I did some research and IP is the standard of how they measure integrated um, I'll post it, forgot what it was. They came up with the grading on, on the, for waterproof and, and solid objects. So this has a rating of IPX7. Okay, what does that mean? Now the first number, which in this case is a value of X, that means that manufacturer did not provide any testing on foreign objects, on any solids. For example, if you take it to a sandy place, uh, there will be a risk that you're gonna get sand in it. And of course, you know, you see the holes, you will get dust in this thing. So I would avoid a sandstorm if you can. Now the second digit, which is that there's seven, the grade that they have it is from zero to eight. Eight being the biggest, zero being the, the smallest. So this has a seven. So it is waterproof up to one meter, which is 3.2 feet. So we're gonna submerge this into a bucket and we're gonna be playing music and see how it does. Let's get to work. Okay, we're back. I charged it for about an hour. Um, I'm gonna go full. So when you charge it, I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, there's this LED light and it turns red when it's charging. Just plug it in and you see the red light. That means it's charging. Now when it, it turns into a solid blue, that means it's charged. So we're gonna plug it for now because I am dying to test this. I am a very impatient person. So now we're gonna pair it. I'm gonna pair it to my iPad. I'm gonna put it side to side on on my, uh, you guys are right hand screen. So first things first, we're gonna turn it on, just like any device. Hear that little sound? Okay, now we're gonna press and hold the Bluetooth. Okay, now it's blinking really fast. So now we're gonna go into my iPad and we're going to Bluetooth settings. And it's right here, you see it? Tribit X Sound Go. You tap on that. Yeah, just like that, it's already paired. So now we're gonna raise the volume a bit. Go for low. Go but eh, have ways. Now we're going into Epidemic sound. Uh, of course, we're not gonna play any like the good music. Otherwise, uh, we'll get a strike. We don't want that. YouTube will be very upset. So we're gonna give YouTube very happy. Let's do this. I'll raise the volume. Oh my, 
Uh, 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 ciao. Look at this. You can see on the iPad. Halfway. Four. That's halfway. Okay, so now. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna test it, we're gonna test the range, and we're gonna submerge it in water, and let's see what it does. How it okay, now we're outside my house. I am at a distance of 25 feet. I just have it zoomed in. Let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, looks like a little rat hanging on the fence, huh? Well, it's a very good rat. Okay, so I'm at a distance of 25 feet, and we're going to do some testing. I have my iPad here, if I can see. Now, uh, later on, we're going to submerge it in water. I'm going to back slowly back up to see how far we can actually hear this thing. I'm going to max it out and uh, see how it goes. So let's, let's begin the test. And you guys could hear it. It's about a quarter, so we're gonna raise it. Hear that? That's low right there. We don't wanna disturb the neighbors. We gotta be good. So now we're gonna back up. Let's do 100 feet. I'm gonna keep my phone here. And I'm gonna take my iPad and see how it goes. I'm gonna raise the volume. You guys can see me, but I'm 75 feet away. I'm 75 feet away and it's still going strong. I'm gonna keep going. Change the song. Yep, it's less than 100 feet. I'd say 85 feet is the max. I was born in the 1880s. I'm not gonna tell you exact, the exact uh, year because <laughs> I am very old, so. That's my music. Yeah. <laughs> my neighbor probably thinks I'm crazy. Okay, so let's raise the volume all the way up. So what do you guys think? I mean, I could hear it. If I was barbecuing outside, this speaker will be outside with me. Guarantee it. I love it. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. So now, let's do the fun test. Now we're going to submerge our trivet speaker. Here it is. Into that. Let's see how tall is this thing. If you guys can see, it's about 14 inches. Almost 15. 14 and three quarters so this thing's up to three feet let me show you what three feet look like look like so you could submerge it that deep you can't really see it let's see if you can focus you see twice the bucket but I don't have any bucket. I don't have a bucket. I don't have a pool, so I can submerge it in three feet, but I'm gonna take their word for it, so. But I don't own anything that could withstand anything like that before, besides my phone. So we're gonna test it. We're gonna play it. I have my iPad ready to go. And let's submerge it. I took the lanyard off because I didn't wanna dry it uh, and get it ruined, so. I know that's not waterproof, so let's begin. Look 
Look at that, it's vibing. What do you guys think? Let's see if I could get a different song. Here we lower it. Higher it. Pretty cool. All right. Now I'm gonna see. Next song. Oh, it's kind of depressing, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Now let's see. I have it all the way at the bottom of the bucket. It's kind of skipping because of the signal. Water, it's intervening between the Bluetooth signal between the speaker and my phone. Actually, my iPad. So you pull it out. Oh, look. All the way up. Next song. We're not going to war. So basically you could actually be in the rain, you could be in the rain and it will work perfectly fine as you can see. It does stop a bit because of water, but if you were to be in the pool and you accidentally dropped it, you'll be fine. As you can see, look, look at the speakers. Nice, love it. I absolutely love it. Go all the way up. <laughs> Pretty nice. Okay, now let's dry it up and then we'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. I dried it up. Uh, now we're gonna weigh it. I like to, I just got the scale. I actually ordered this yesterday. Um, I was going to do a review on it, but it's just the scale, just a kitchen scale. I wanted to measure some stuff. Uh, I'm trying to eat healthy and um, because I am a junkie guy. Um, love, love, a lot of love handles, but enough of that stuff. So we're going to weigh the speaker. Uh, Trivet says it weighs 380 grams, roughly 13.4 ounces. So let's check this out. So yeah, not bad, 13.6, uh, 13.4 according to the conversion. That's for liquids, ounces, 13.6 ounces. So just to get you guys to get a perspective of what 13 ounces feel like, I have my favorite drink and I'm eating healthy, huh? But it's zero zero sugar anyways we're gonna weigh it and see what it feels like if you guys have a, a soda can or anything like that then you'll get a feel and it actually feels a little heavier the soda actually feels heavier than than the speaker itself so now let's weigh it 13.13 so just a tiny bit heavier so when you hold a soda can just a regular regular 12 ounce soda beer whatever then that's what it feels like to hold this thing. It feels like rubber. Uh, one thing I do wish is that you could hear sounds when you're going up or down, but I'll unplug, I'll, I'll un, uh, unpair it from, from my iPad. Maybe there's a sound that I missed. I put the lanyard back. I didn't do a tutorial knock. I mean, that's super easy. So I'm gonna take the scale out and then we're gonna Test the sound to see if it still work, works after submerging it in water. Works good. Here's the bass. Now put it next to my to my microphone. I'm 
gonna raise the volume a bit. And I'm going about halfway. Up. Halfway. A quarter of the ways. Now what I'm going to do. I'm going to unpair it for, from my iPad. And see. If there's a beep sound. I, I, I want that sound. I mean I really do. It kind of lets me know the volume level if you have a sound as you go up and down. So let's see. Let's turn off Bluetooth for now. Oh, there. Yep. Yeah. All right, that means I turned off. Yeah, as you can see, I just unpaired, I turned off the Bluetooth in my iPad. So there's no sound. That means it's Blinking is ready to pair with the device or looking for a device. Now let's see. Let's turn. Let's see how fast it connects. Uh, let's turn Bluetooth back on. Okay. Hmm. Took about ten seconds. Not bad though. I want to play some copyrighted music, some Tupac here. I really do, but uh, I can't. Not bad. Two songs. Could you tell that? That's nice. Huh? I'm not moving it. <laughs> I am not moving it. The bass itself, look. It's alive. It's alive. That's three quarters of the way. It will move on, on its own. It won't move because it's got that grip. It's got those on your feet. Rubber feet. I'll lower it. Okay, we're at the end of the video. I, what are my thoughts? Final thoughts on this. Uh, it is very inexpensive. It was $22. I'll put the price on the screen. See exactly how much I paid. Um, I got an Amazon. The link will be down in the description. Um, and I actually got an extra $7 off because I got a coupon from CNET. I am subscribed to them. And uh, that's when I read about these little speakers. I said, you know what? Let me do a review on this because I do something from time to time. I do um, like to take uh, my, I don't want to say her name, but I'll put it in, <laughs> in the screen because then she'll be, what do you want? Uh, before I go, uh, make sure when you guys submerge, if you guys are outside and, and you guys are playing with water, make sure this thing is tight and closed completely closed otherwise you'll get water in there now to show you guys that it's working i'm going to plug it in before uh, our final goodbyes for for now and that button is the reset button there it turned violet because of that now let me, let me turn this thing off real quick there you go you see as long as you can you keep this seal tight it's not going to get in there so and if it does, if you guys buy one and if you get water, you could return it if you buy it from Amazon. Amazon's super easy to return stuff. But uh, what are my thoughts? I really like it. It's very small. Uh, like I said, uh, you hold this, you're holding a soda. It's like holding a soda can of a, a beer or whatever. Uh, if you guys are old enough, of course. Um, but the sound quality is really good. I like the bass. Uh, the cons of this thing is that when you submerge it in water, if it falls, you lose connectivity between your device and the Bluetooth. So that's the downside. Um, that's the Achilles heel of this thing. But uh, other than that, if you're in the rain or let's say you're out, you know, out in the country or you're outside and you're watering, you're playing with your kids, 
you could definitely have this little guy if you're bar barbecuing and if it falls in water in the pool don't worry you'll be perfectly fine um i do do recommend it the link will be that will be down in the description and for full disclosure i am not 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 sponsored by them or amazon or anyone this is just something i wanted to do i wanted to show you guys and i love technology just as i love being a father um if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment below um, and i will respond with the or res with an answer so you guys be good stay safe out there and tech techie dad signing out